Guess what, boys? If they ain't eating the hairs there, you just go home. Okay. That was a bad impression. <laughs> Fish food. Okay, this is just a variation on a hare's ear. Um, I wanted to tie it with a really big bead so I can use kind of a smaller fly as an anchor on my, my Euro rig. So this is a size 14 with a four millimeter bead on it. And as you can see, if, as, the, as the bead gets completely set, um, it covers up a little bit of the eye, but it's not enough of the eye not to get tip it through. Um, I fished I fished these actually today all day and I didn't have any issues getting the tippet through so don't don't worry about that um, you can use 70 denier or 140 denier um, I've actually got 140 here I usually use 70 I brought the wrong thread to the shop so but it's gonna actually help me to to seat the bead a little bit and to build up a little bit of bulk so it's just really simple tie in some Coq de Leon fibers for the tail not as thin as you would do like a Perdigon tail and I'll just size it out like that that's about how, how long I want the tail tie it in all the way forward and now in order or what I'm going to use for my flash rib on this instead of using some type of tinsel or something I've really started to like this sparkle midge braid. So this is the root beer color. I'm just going to strip some of it off the spool and I'll tie that in right behind the bead. So right about there and wrap that back. So you, see, you can see I have a little bit of a taper built in. You don't need to cover that all up. And then I really like having just well, that that says hair's mask you can see how much I use it but it's just a big old baggie that I cut off the corner of uh, I took a hair's mask and I shaved it all um, but the nature spirit snowshoe rabbit foot dove is is a really good substitute it's kind of interesting that those two would be similar but you're just gonna take some hair's ear dubbing and dub it on fairly sparse I'll just kind of wrap up a buggy body onto this and I'm going to add a tiny bit more up there by the bead so you can see there's a little bit of a conical shape here and now I'm going to pull this sparkle braid tight and I'm going to rib it opposite from the direction that I wrapped it so just like that. So catch that, tie it off. And now for the, for the whip finish, I'm just gonna go right into the whip finish and whip finish until you, you make a little thin orange band. Pull it tight. And that's the, all there is to it, to the hair bomb. But, you know, obviously it's just a little hair's ear pattern. Works really well just because it's so heavily weighted, it, it gets your flies down. But a good anchor pattern. 